Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. I want to go over some really good information, quick to the point, about proper desktop posture. That means any time that you're sitting up at home, at work, just being in a chair, utilizing the right posture can really help the neck, the back, mid-back area, uh, the kinetic chain, as well as the discs, those nerves that are being inflamed, people having chronic pain, are all interrelated to poor posture. Forward head posture, doing this all day long is putting excessive stress in the back of our neck, uh, causing chronic degeneration and disc uh, pathology, as well as bulging and herniated discs. Let's get right to it. Uh, if I show you this picture here, uh, this just shows you the internal rotation. Uh, the pectoralis muscles in the front of the chest are shortened, shortened hamstrings as a result of those hip flexors that are constantly being uh, worked, uh, obviously from that long sitting. Uh, the glutes particularly become very weak. They become inactive, which has a, a big correlation with posture, the kinetic chain going all the way up the spine to the back of the head and neck, uh, reduced hip flexion as well as the elongated inactive and weak upper back muscles, particularly the rhomboid muscles and middle trapezius. As that neck continues to go forward, uh, we are putting excessive stress uh, back on the discs because the head weighs 12 pounds for every inch you go forward to an additional 10 pounds. If you're just going forward two inches, 32 pounds, three inches, 42 pounds, and the weight multiplies as you continue to go forward. If you look here, this just shows you great postural positioning at the desk. Uh, the eyes should be at the top of the monitor or one third up on that monitor. Uh, the monitor uh, arm length should be uh, just a, a length away when it looks uh, at that picture with the chest and as well as the wrist and the forearm. Uh, it's really important that you try to keep those wrists straight. If you're flexing the wrist, you've got them extended, you can particularly cause carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, look at the angle of the hip and the knees, both at 90 degrees. Very important you keep the feet on the floor. I like a good lumbar support behind the lower back. If you don't have one, that will make a tremendous difference. That will bring your posture upright. Elbows should always be close to your body and relaxed shoulders. Now, the key thing here, which I'm going to come back and show you, uh, neutral head. Uh, if you're looking down like this and your head is going forward, your ears are in front of your shoulders, uh, you're going to have problems. So I advise you to get in the habit of jutting the chin down or just changing the height of your, your monitor, uh, but make sure you're not in this position. This position is okay, uh, but you don't want to be in this position. The key thing, though, I need to stress is you need to get up often. Every 20, 30 minutes, even for 30 seconds, uh, bring your shoulders back. Keep your, your thumbs outwards like this and uh, just kind of stretch your chest. Do the couple chin tucks. Bring your chin in like this. Just change the position up. The key thing to prevent degeneration is changing the, the motor, the muscle integrity, uh, where you don't want to over fatigue it. I hope this information was helpful for you. It is something that everyone will benefit because we all spend so much time seated uh, or in the wrong position, even driving. But just be very aware of your posture. I think it makes a huge change. I ask you to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, check out my channel, great self-help videos. Check me out, Motivational Doc on Facebook, whatever thumbs up or positive reviews you can leave. I really appreciate that. Most important, blessings to you and your family. I wish everyone lots of good health and we'll be with you real soon. Bye-bye now.